little trip to Walmart and made a trip to Academy today. Um, most of this stuff was like 88 cent for these uh, utensils. Uh, we just have a little spatula, a little spoon, a uh, little set of tongs, a uh, whisk, a uh, pillar, a uh, can opener, um, see they call it a slotted spoon, a ladle, and some measuring cups, and it goes all the way down to a quarter teaspoon. It comes with the two little rings. Um, these are, I think, were $1.50, and the rest of this was like $0.88 cent to $1.00. A piece. Um, you can get the stuff pretty cheap. We was going to go to the Dollar Tree, but we was at Walmart. We went back there and looked, and they're kind of hanging in there with uh, the Dollar Tree. So we just went ahead and bought them at Walmart. Most of the stuff's made in China here. Um, I'm in, yeah, this is made in India. The can opener. So I mean, some of the stuff made in, most of it here is made in India, I guess. That's made in China. So there's different ones here, um, made in different places. What I was going to show you is mostly this here. It's a uh, Dutch oven. It's got the uh, legs on it. It's got the big pan. Um, it's pre-seasoned. Uh, let me show you the tag right quick. I had ripped it off so the lady could scan it. It's just the outdoor gourmet. gourmet um, 12 inch um, camp oven with legs pre-seasoned and there's let me see I don't doubt y'all will be able to read any of the stuff let's see yeah it just makes it that's not really good um, well anyway it's the if you go to Academy and you put in the 12 inch gourmet with the legs they do have one without legs that's a little cheaper but I wanted the one with the legs um, but yeah that's for my bug out stuff. If we do have to bug out, I'm going to throw this in a book bag. All the utensils, that will just have to be picked up and thrown in. I have a uh, enclosed trailer. So we've got three places to bug out to. Uh, I don't know if this location will be the one we stay at because we're setting up three locations pretty much the same with the same stuff. Uh, as far as the animals can the pens and stuff so that if we do we'll just throw the animals in there with us and take off um, If you have if you do if you don't have it Already packed up. It's a lot of trouble to run around the house trying to pick up spoons forks and we we're gonna actually pick up some uh, spoons and forks and stuff like that and just a big pack and then just get us some uh, little plastic plates to throw in and then that way if we do get out somewhere even if we have to pull over in, a, in the woods somewhere and pull up in a place and camouflage my trailer I've got everything for that we can at least build a campfire pull this thing out cook up some beans uh, put some rice in there and have beans and rice if nothing else and uh, it's just something that we're trying to, to experiment with here get all of our stuff and book bags and and totes so that we, if we do have to bug out, I'm not planning on it. Like I say, we may bug out to just one of the other locations, but it's something that you could, that you can put in, and you don't have to worry. You just grab, grab the book bags. All I'm probably going to have about 15 book bags, but it's easier to grab 15 book bags than it is to run all the way around the house trying to pick out certain little items. I mean, yeah, you're buying twice the items, but you know they all they're in storage they're bought uh, let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine dollars worth of utensils and i paid 29 for this with the legs like i say you can get it for 24 without the legs the uh lodge it was um right at 59 i think for the same thing with the legs and it was a little bit smaller so I just went with the, the outdoor gourmet, gourmet. It was, I mean, I couldn't tell. The only thing that I could see different was the difference in the labels here. The handle was small here and went to a bigger part here. I mean, it was all the same. The, hand, the only other thing on their handle here was like it had a place here you could hold it to where your hand wouldn't get burnt. But I don't know if that's a good idea because if you hang this up over a campfire, You'd rather I'd rather have it like this to where I can hang it on a hook 
Uh, so, yeah. Another thing it, um, that I've seen on the uh, picture, I'm not sure. I'm going to get do some research on it. Uh, some, they had coals laying on top of theirs here. Just like um, uh, charcoal coals. And had them lit just to keep it, I guess, to keep it warm. But uh, just the briquettes. Um, I don't know. I'm going to do some research on it. I didn't uh, On the picture it had it. I don't see how you would be able to cook with it. Uh, you know, I could see where you could actually keep, you know, your food maybe warm with it that way. But, I, you know, I don't, unless you put your thing on the fire and let it cook here. And then if you had this and then had like a grill thing you could put on top here and then put briquettes on it. And then cook off of it and then it would help. I don't know. I just uh, seen it and I really hadn't really researched these things a lot. I'm going to go on YouTube and watch some videos on them. Uh, I just know that I wanted one so that if we did have to bug out and we did have to pull over and cook on a, a campfire, we'd have enough of water with us. We'd have enough of uh, food with us. We could pop open some rice and some beans, put the beans in there, um, let them soak for a little while. Um, Put them in there and start cooking them. Uh, within you know four to six hours, we could have a whole meal and be ready to eat. So, yeah, it may not be the fastest way to cook on it, and it may not be the you know the best way. I mean, we probably have some food that we could just throw together, you know, like sandwiches stuff. And if we was bugging out, you know, just grab a you know a few things, peanut butter and some bread. At least you'd have a sandwich, and then the next night we would actually be able to soak some beans and cook them and soak the rice and cook it so all right well y'all have a good one and like i say if you if you've not thought about this it's something that you need to think about because like i say it takes way too much time to grab up all of your uh all of your utensils and stuff like that all right y'all have a good one